Hi everyone and welcome to new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I will present you how to make a V12 engine with uh, Fusion. Here we are in the episode 36. In this episode I will show you how you can make the turbo, not the charger, the turbo compressor. In this under there are four turbo compressor and the strategy here is to make the sub assembly in the interior of this assembly I will add parts let's create a new component new component the name is the turbo Activate the sub-assembly and create new component. The name of the component is the bearing housing. Here, let's start. Just activate this plan or front plan and start with a circle. You can press Q to extrude it like this one. Now you can choose the right plane here. As you can see here and, st and start drawing this one. The goal here is to draw the um, closed profile and add all these dimensions as you can see here. Just accelerate the video and just you you can see the the last um, dimensions, okay? As you can see here. Now you can just go to revolve feature but as you can see here, I did an error, okay, when you validate, you don't have to see that. To fix this one, is just to edit your sketch, as you can see here, and just move this one like this, and if you want to fix it, just add some constraint here and validate you have to see this one like result here i want to make some just add some dimension here as you can see here as you can see just go ahead and press uh, Q and the trip here is to use the sketch underneath the, um, the cylinder and make it symmetric or in two directions as you can see here I did an error just make it don't cut material just modify that to join all thing is all right here let's do the same thing in the right side just start a new sketch and let's sketch it the 
Do the same thing when you finish finish your sketch and select this like an area. Press Q to have an extrusion. And add some dimension here. As you can see, make sure that it's not a cut, it's a join in the two sides. Press OK to validate your design. Once you finish this one, you have to, to select circular pattern here, as you can see. And for me, I will choose features, just select two features. For the axis, you can select uh, just to select this like an axis here. Repeat it as you can see and validate. For now, you've done 30% of the work. Now I want to add um, from this side just to see the cube, the Z axis and the Y axis. Select this one like, um, like a plan and I will accelerate the video to make this drawing, okay? Once you finish sketches, just select all the um, this area using Ctrl or Shift and just cut material using symmetry. As you can see here, we did an error. Just you can fix it by going to the editing the sketch and just to change something here on your sketch as you can see here the error is to add constraint here we have to re remove it or move it under the sketch as you can see here look at the right if all thing is all right here i think it's okay You can just verify the three of the others and the symmetry and all thing is all right. Just to return your model like this one and select the surface and draw as you can see, I use the cut to see what I am drawing on. And let's draw this one, starting with the rectangle. And I will accelerate the video. You can um, see the result after, okay? And try to draw the same thing. Here I finish drawing. Just go ahead and select the exterior of this profile. As you can see, I can't select it. What I have to do is just to add another drawing. The goal here, Fusion, don't find the, um, the exterior of the profile. I thought he's intelligent to find this, but the trip here is to add the rectangle like this one and I decide to add another rectangle here and use 
Q to press and pull here and extrude cut okay just select all of this zone use this arrow like this one and you have two option is to go like this and or to make to the object okay here i didn't validate the feature just select all of this one all thing is all right once you finish this you can just press f to add some fillet here not fillet uh, excuse me chamfer okay use chamfer the same thing in these edges you can use chamfer and add add four of them in the other side here you can add a fillet to these uh, edges as you can see here here you can select this surface and i want to draw uh, two circles or two holes as you can see i actually rate the video and just uh, put this one as dimensions once you finish all of this just use q to extrude it as you can see Price OK. Once you finish all of this, just to return your model like this one, select this surface and go to sketch, repair this one and add the circle as you can see here. Rotate it like this one and select this, press Q. To have an extrusion extrusion but this one you have to extrude to ex to join it not to not to remove material as you can see here The same thing what you did here just select this surface and add the circle this circle we will make a hole in this ear okay as you can see here just select it and extrude cut okay once you finish all of this one you can use a circular pattern you will find it here and select the two features and do repeat it as you can see here don't forget to choose the best axis here the axis is the z axis and select the number of the pattern and validate by enter here i will add i will choose this plan go to sketch you can just uh, choose the top plane press c to have a circle here and look for the center of this edge make this circle and you can uh, you just validate and use revolve select this profile and for the axis you can select the z axis and your work is done just i want to add some some fillet to this model i know that it's not the full body of the turbo but that's the minimum what we can do for the turbo i because the 3d i want to to share with you how you can make the basic of all of this component 
and you can if you want to print it with a 3d printer you can just find all the v12 engine on my website camera9.com i will thank you for watching and i i hope to see you in the in the next episode we will continue working on the turbo compressor uh if you like it just make a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks